Hey everybody, um, I am Victor Rivera, and this is uh, a mic test, and um, so this past uh, uh, this past two weeks have been kind of hard, uh, especially this past week because uh, my mic for the past two episodes of D and Me has been crackling and popping and clipping. And it's really awful um, as a listening experience for me, listening back to it, because when I make it into a podcast, then it is um, pretty wretched <laughs> um, to have the audio go, hey, so I, and, and it goes inside the, um, I, I really hate it. And, um... So I've been spending the past week like trying just tweaking a whole bunch of different things to make the mic better because I don't I'm still really new even though today's the eighth month of D and Me yay we did it um I'm still really new to everything. Interestingly, my laptop was fine for the first twenty minutes of just nothing pre-show, but now it's starting to kick in the fan which is always um, uh, nerve-wracking. But I also have a little um, window up right now that is flashing a lot of numbers of frames missed due to rendering lag and skipped frames due to encoding lag and average time to render frame. And there's a lot of, like, warning orange and red um, frames. So... I don't know if that is anything or if that has always been the case, but I never noticed because um, I don't have this window up. Um, hopefully, my mic is good right now. Um, please. Oh, goodness. Now everything's messing up. Um, please let me know in the chat if my mic is okay. Um, because I've been really stressed out about this. And I have been really stressed out for a while. And this month was very hard. And um, this isn't, this is hopefully going to be a th cathartic DNR artistry. Because a lot of things happened. And as you can tell from my background, I really want this mic to work because. I don't want to buy a new computer. I have very generous resources that will get me a new computer, but this is a new computer. Um, newer computer. And if this mic can work on its own, then I want it to work on its own. <sighs> what are some things over the past week that I've done to try and fix this mic? Um, I've tweaked a bunch of audio settings in my computer. At one point, some... Oh, this is a big thing. So there is a, like, Clean My Mac program where it goes in and Mac does this awful thing where it just has a bunch of gray matter after a while and it compresses it all and goes, Hey, uh, we would have space, but look at all of that! And then I'm like, okay, well, tell me what it is. And it's like, we don't know what it is. It's just blank. Um, and, uh, there's no way, good way to do it on, um, windows, uh, on PCs, then there's like a fragmentation or defrag or something, um, which is really good to like compress all of the space and take out all that gray matter. But Mac doesn't really have that. So I downloaded a program, which I used 2019 that deleted gigs of, um, unused space. And so I ran it both with this, my old laptop, and it got rid of uh, like 10 gigs, which is awesome. And then for the new laptop, it's like, hey, we can't, uh, we can't really do this. No, wait, no, no, we can do this. Um, because one of the solutions um, is to upgrade this Mac's um, operating system OS to like what it actually is instead of just a couple years or months behind. I'm going to close this little window because those red and orange numbers are making me so anxious. 
I like seeing that little green box down there saying, Everything's okay today, Victor. Thanks, little green box. Um, <sighs> so, I tried to download the latest OS, Encoding Overheated. Consider turning down video. What does that mean? Encoding overloaded. Consider turning down video. What? Okay, so if anyone is watching, please tell me if this mic is okay, because I have no idea. I can't tell unless I'm listening, I'm like I'm watching the video afterwards. So I'll make a little note right there. But um, finishing my story. Um, so I needed to upload the most recent OS, but it was like, hey, this takes like 12 gigs, and you don't have 12 gigs, my dude. And I'm like, god damn it. So I got the Clean My Mac software, which, um, like, it, it does this thing, and for technology, I'm so hopeful in it, and then it screws me, because um, it did this thing of, hey, so um, here's a lot of stuff you don't use. Do you are you okay with us deleting it? And I'm like, yes. So the first time that screwed me over is when I had a Tom Tom, like one of the garments in a car. Um, and I was like, Hey Victor, so we need to, Hey Victor, so we need to, uh, update the, you know, our software, but there's a lot of stuff you don't use on this garment, like, uh, maps, like you, you'll never go to Hawaii. Is it okay if we delete some of the, you know, maps you don't use and some other stuff like, we'll know what it is. I'm like, yeah, I mean, you're you're the computer. You know what you use or whatever, so go ahead. And it's like, <laughs> thanks. And I was like, you're welcome. And then um, after a while, like after it rebooted, then it was like, ah, oh, bon oui. And I was like, eh, ben? And so it deleted English as a language. So I was stuck with the only language left in that Garmin was French Canadian. And I was furious, so Tony Epoep, Tony Echoes. It's a very funny story now, but that was the first time I trusted technology to know what the hell it's talking about. So with the Clean My Mac, it's like, hey, Victor, uh, come here, come here. Uh, do you mind if we delete a lot of these things you don't use? And I'm like, I, there's thousands of things. I don't know. Go ahead. I, I trust you, man. And it's like, <laughs> okay. All right, see you later, buddy. And so then it ran through. It deleted 60 gigs of stuff from my computer, which is amazing. I don't love how Max can let 60 gigs of gray matter build up. But that was really frustrating. And then afterwards, I was messing with stuff. I'm like, okay, let me let me figure out what new stuff. What new stuff. What new stuff. It deleted from my computer the built-in camera. I could not find this built-in camera anywhere. And I looked up on the internet. I'm like, how, how do you, how do you find it again? And then it suggested seven things. I went through all seven things. No, it, it deleted it. The camera's right there, obviously, because it's a laptop, but, oh my gosh, Hope, hello. Uh, I, I'm a huge admirer. Wow. Thank you so much. Um, the mic sounds great. Thank you. That is humongous. Thank you very much, Hope. Um, you, you gave me hope, so thank you. Holy cow. Yay, great. Um, oh, you're too sweet. I, yeah, I, I, I've been following your antics and, uh, hu huge fan, so I, I'm a little starstruck right now. That's great, but, um, I'm, I'm talking about my, uh, really tough week, so, uh, so I couldn't find my built-in camera. And then I contacted Apple, and I was like, Apple, I can't find the camera. And then I was like, okay, well, there are these seven um, seven steps. And I'm like, oh, yeah, no, I've been I've been through those seven steps. Um, oh, my goodness, you got me feeling start to start. Oh, oh. Um, after, yeah, no, this is great. Um, I, was, I was ready to feel all sad about myself, but no, I got... Hope for tabletop role-playing games on my stream, so that's awesome. But, um, so I asked Apple, and I was like, okay, so 
I can't find this built-in camera. And it was like, I, uh, here, you can try this like ninth last thing, which is that you have to um, update the OS system, the operating system. And I was like, okay. And so now with the clean my Mac, then I had gigs in order to um, download it. And I was like, okay, great. So I, I went to download it and then it like kind of wiped my whole computer. And now it's a whole bunch of new stuff has happened. And one of the biggest things was that it had messed up a lot of my OBS stuff. So I've been struggling for the past couple of days, but especially this past hour, because I couldn't figure out how to do my Photoshop, which I do for DN artistry, which is normally on Tuesdays, but I decided to try on my mic today after my 50 twiddling things, um, to see, um, Mike sounds good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Princess Dolly XO. I, that that's two affirmations, two confirmations. So that's huge. Thank you. But I've been spending the last week trying to make this mic better. So, um, it, it wouldn't let me do my Photoshop thing, which is screen shared from this laptop. And I was freaking out because that's, that's a third of my, um, OBS has been messing with a lot of people this week. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Hope. Golly. Um, that's huge. Yay. Three, three hearts. Thank you, princess. Um, but it, it come like it wouldn't, OBS wouldn't let me do a screen share and that's how I do my Photoshop. And I was like, okay, so I could remedy this by either getting a webcam, which I might do eventually, but it, it, it the, the camera's right there and I, it, it's right there. Uh, and then for Photoshop, like I could get it on that laptop, but that's $300 which this is working fine. And it was really stressful. And then I went online and then I searched, oh, you need to share a, a, a new permission. So I went and then thankfully, like literally 13 minutes before the stream, like I figured that out. So that's huge. Um, so then a couple other things. I So then the, the, the camera came back after... It, it upgraded the OS to Monterey, which thank goodness, because that was huge. And then um, I thought about getting a new USB cable, and um, I had a friend suggest me not having the USB cable connected to the mic, like drape over the power cords because of the uh, like uh, technology. I don't know. So that was hugely stressful. Um, and then I had to drop a lot of money to fix my car. And then I got a new phone, which is money. And then me trying to figure all that out. And like this month has been absolutely bonkers. I'm glad you got it to work. Thank you. I really hope so. Because what it was doing previously was that it would clip or um, like skip or pop really bad. That's a lot to deal with. Thank you. Thank you. Hope. Yes. Um, so. As long as uh, my people in the chat, as long as it's not doing like a, and so he, you know, go inside the thing because that that is awful. And my past two episodes of D and Me, episode thirty, which was a huge one, and then ep episode thirty one actually, sorry, and then episode thirty two. Hello, Mechanical Frog Twelve. Thank you. Hello. Um, this this is delightful chat. Thank you, everybody. And Mechanical Frog followed me. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Um, this is huge. <laughs> a really overwhelming week and then the um y'all are a, a huge community, so thank you very much. Encoding in, encoding overloaded consider turning what? What the message encoding overloaded here. Oh. 1439. So, I'm glad to be here right now. Thank you all for telling me that the mic is good. Hopefully it will be continue to be good. Let me make a little note here just in case I, it, just in case I start doing art um and then uh, I really stressful y'all. So, thank you. Thank you for being here. All right. 
Mechanical Frog 12, audio is solid. Impressed that you painted your wall to look like a computer screen rather than going the green screen route. I know, right? Like, it, it took me a while, and all of these please work. There's hundreds of please works because I really wanted this mic to work. Um, Thank you. It took, a, it took a while to get that, and I am actually uh, top-tier dedication. Uh, lol. Th this is... Uh, uh, oh darn hold on oh that's what it is um achoo so this is a a green screen um which are four pieces of um trifold um cardboard all put together um and i rubber cemented this is um green paper from the dollar tree and i rubber cemented all of it together and literally for one of those episodes i did it all day before one of my D me episodes and uh the fumes got to me and it's not one of my best episodes but at you there we go <laughs> um oh i thought it was a projector it, it looks pretty cool it's got a like a a myspace 1990s like aesthetic going on so please tell me if my mic is good or if it ends up pop and ends, ends up popping or crackling um you can kind of see that. I can make that better. But um <sighs> your camera hates not chroma king. Yeah, uh, uh there's a little bit of like I had a a silver surfer like really bad splash going on in my first like 10 episodes, but I've added more lights, so something something happens better. I don't know. Um well, thank you everyone for so far telling me that my mic's good. That's oh, that's humongous. Your camera hates not Chrome King. Okay, I'll see if that's a thing. I, yeah, I still don't actually know what that is. So. Yeah, that's kind of hard to read, huh? Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay. It looks all really good and clear to me. Oh, well, thank you. Hope, hope, if I may, may brag about you now that I'm, I'm not going to be sad. So that's good. Please tell me if my mic is good or if it ends up popping or crackling. There we go. So, um, I have been making, yeah, that's nice. Okay, so... Today, tonight, actually, is the eighth month of D&Me. And Me. it's D&Me and Me Adventures, where I play with myself. I play D&D &D with myself, and it is a storytelling. It is an actual play show, 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons, where I am one person um, who DMs and then play four characters of my campaign's past. So I play Doop, mm, Tipsy the Forest Gnome Rogue, Onyx the Dwarf Barbarian, Rock the Half-Orc Wizard, and Toot Toot the Loxodon Bard. And um, it, it has been wonderful. Uh, I did my 32nd episode last week, and I've been doing uh, supplemental stuff, like supplemental art streams, like DN Artistry, which is normally Tuesday, but we're trying out my mic tonight. Um, and as part of growing all this, then I have my Twitch page, my YouTube page, my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And Twitter is one of the more... Um, you have a lot more control of growing your audience on Twitter because every Thursday there's hashtag TTRPG rising. And then uh, on Wednesdays there's hashtag uh, WIP Wednesday, which is like work in progress. And then Friday is following Friday. And then Saturday is self promo Saturday. So Mike sounds great. Thank you, True Jack. Thank you for joining. Um, and I, I try and contribute every once in a while, but um. For Wednesdays, it, that's my D and Me day. So I, it's really a huge treat. Where over the past eight months, I I take, um, I take Wednesday off from everything else that I have, and then I just work on this amazing entertainment art experience experiment. Um, but I can't really contribute to WIP Wednesday, and then Thursdays I like to watch the video again so that I can take notes because when I'm in the the show then I'm in like performing mind and it's hazy and I have like performer fatigue so um so I try and watch 
rewatched the episode Thursday morning, and that's a lot of when tabletop role playing game rising happens and so it's a lot of hey so if you have 750 or a thousand followers or less then like tout your stuff and make sure to comment and retweet and support other people and then if you have more than that then um, help the smaller pages out so really I, i've tried to do that a couple times and uh the response is huge when i do do it and it's really a, a, a an overwhelmingly supportive group and then hope Hope for tabletop role playing games. Um, your work is amazing. Um, you are so supportive, and I follow you on, on Instagram and Twitter, and to see how you you do all of your stuff. Uh, in order for me to grow my show, then I'm looking at shows that are like a couple rungs above me, and like I I consider you a personality. It, in in the community so thank you so much for being here and always so supportive so so thank you um sincerely okay i am i am now fully confident in my mic that's such a huge compliment thank you you're welcome and you even got like a a hope heart uh emotes man i need to figure out emotes <laughs> i don't have nothing for emotes or anything oh and true jack followed me too holy cow thank you true jack um and hope followed me i did how did i miss that one that one's the main one <laughs> uh, i need to figure out emotes too um and mechanical frog 12 look what is brain slug that's funny so yeah i this concept sounds like a blast. You've been doing it for 32 episodes, you said? I recommend Van Housing for emotes. They did mine. Ooh, that's a cool thing. I'm writing down notes for that. I'm writing down notes, actually, for all of this. So, um, thank you. Uh, yes, True Jack, uh, thank you very much. I have been doing this for 32 episodes. So, if you go onto my <laughs> link tree... Oh, come on. It's down there? No. <laughs> um... If you go to my link tree, that's linktr.ee slash dandmeadventures and like gnome, then um, that is this Twitch page and then my YouTube page where I um, put all of my, upload all of my videos. Um, and then uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And then I, I, we have done 32 episodes, which I, well, I made a whole new intro video. So I might show that here off in a second. You know what? Yeah. Uh, a scripted, edited version of Victor reading. Well, I literally just did this and it's going to debut uh, this Wednesday. But uh, for a Dean Artistry exclusive, then uh, I'll do this right now. Because, <laughs> oh, is it dark now? I think it's dark now. Whoops. Hi, I'm Victor of this, oh, this is D&D &D where I play with, with myself. I play D&D no, &D with myself. Oh, no. This is an actual play show, 5th edition, uh, where I do ba doop ba doop All right. Sorry. <laughs> I'm figuring it all out. So. <laughs> oh, maybe I have to. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's dark. We'll do. Hold on. Okay, too many things going on right now. So I'll do that here in a little bit. Unless I throw it up right here. Hi, I'm Victor Rivera. This is D&D &D where I play with myself. I play D&D &D with myself. This is an actual play show, 5th edition, where I DM and play four characters of campaigns past. Hi, I'm Tipsy the Forest Gnome Rogue. We stream Wednesday nights on Twitch, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we throw the video up on YouTube Thursday mornings. And I have a rat named Waddles. He's cute. I'm Onyx the Dwarf Barbarian. We do other stuff. I'm Rock the half Orc Wizard. We do Dean Artistry and Art Stream on Tuesday nights. And Dean Mead Like the Drink one Monday a month, where we grab a glass of something good and chat about how Dean Me's going, answering audience questions, but mostly going on tipsy tangents. That's me! And I am Toot Toot the Loxodon Bard. If you want to catch up with the current campaign, listen to the first episodes in their edited podcast form, which you can find on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor.fm, and others. And if you want to catch up even quicker, watch Dean Recaps, where we summarize five episodes of Dean Me at a time. And we also have Dean Me Extras, which are fun little behind the scene videos. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter and a bunch of other places where? On our link tree, that's linktr.ee slash dnmeadventures and like gnome. Thanks! <laughs> We're so professional.
Yay! So, that is literally the new intro slash intermission that I worked on for the past like two weeks. Writing and then filming it and then editing it up. And then I put it on YouTube yesterday, I think, as my new like intro, like YouTube. Hey, hey, on. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, mechanical frog. Hold on. I need to watch this guy on Twitch play, <laughs> play with himself. Yeah. Um, my, my intro is, well, you saw it, but, um, hi, I'm Victor Rivera and this is D and me where I play with myself. I play D and D with myself because I have a, yeah. So, um, whoa, we hand drew the characters. Yes. Um, my, my new boys are, uh, hand drawn because the first 30 episodes, these were hero forges. So I didn't feel comfortable making merchandise uh, and then trying to sell it with Hero Forges. So I drew my boys. And that was actually the past three weeks of D and me, uh, D and artistry was when I figured out the outlines and then I colored them. And then this past week I did details. So that's huge. Um, big up, Greg. Awesome. That was beautiful, Victor. Thank you all so much. Um, uh, Words of affirmation is my primary love language, so that means a lot. So thank you very much for this 26 minutes so far. Um, I feel very, 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 very confident now about my mic. We did it. Okay, because if this didn't work, then I needed to, like, get a new computer, and that's terrifying. So I'm glad that this works. Now... I'd get a toot toot sticker for my computer. Are they up on Redbubble? Not yet, but um, that is literally, I have in my notes written in all caps three times, March, 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 March. Um, but it, it's literally, that's that's part of the uh, Dean artistry where um, I make art and then I put it on the Redbubble so that y'all can like, you watch me do the art and then you're invested in it, so. Speaking of which, let's do some art now that everything's good, huh? Thank you for joining me. Um, that's humongous, so thank you. Let's see. Let me get down into this little corner. Ooh, it's toasty now. Uh, let me make this less big so that you can still... There we go. It's still pretty big. But yeah, um, I am thinking about doing... Um, stickers of all my boys and then i have literally two pages in a word document of other art i want to do but let's see let's do something fun because i've ding dang earned it so turn that off so that you don't see my messy desktop and then let us do here we go so what i want to do for Dean Artistry, and this is actually great because um, this is just like a free day. And then also, uh, back to my problems. You know what? Since I'm going to go back to my problems, then I'm going to have a healing potion. I was so concerned about my mic not working that I my koozie is Felix Felicis, and I need more nerdy koozies so um oh so nervous anxious anxiety is great but what i want to do is um <laughs> bring slug for my normal shows um this is my um pre-show placard where um after a couple episodes and i realized starting everything you got you've got this thank you Hillary. thank you um starting everything at seven o'clock p.m on twitch like and i start stream and start recording like people just tuning in there's the 20 second inner um like commercials and stuff so my very first one, I start stream and start recording. And then it was, I play with myself. And that, and so it completely cut off. Hi, I'm Victor Rivera, and this is D&Me. So then I looked up other Twitches, which is a huge step for me going to the next rung for D&Me for my 
2022 New Year's resolution is really to treat D and me like a business. So I'm I'm doing case studies and I'm researching other uh, people I consider um, successful in the community. Hope you're going to be one of my case studies soon. I mean that as as um, endearingly and charmingly as I as I could. Not really creepy, which it could be taken as, but I'm just. Uh, <laughs> oh no, lol. Uh-oh. Um, but no, because I, I I admire your content hugely, and I, I just want to see stuff that you do, and I'm like, oh, that's genius, and then uh blatantly steal from it. <laughs> um, but. Um, my parole officer says I can't get wrapped up in any more case studies. Yes. Sorry. Mechanical frog. You're funny, dude. Or you, you, you're funny individual. I, I am really making an effort to not gender anyone that I, I don't want them. <sighs> well, thank you. I learned by trial and error. Eight months, eight months of streaming and trying to figure out OBS and Twitch and running <laughs> Twitch and YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter for a, a D and me show all by myself. Um, which that's great because I can't blame anyone else. And that's bad because I can't blame anyone else. So, um, they, it's family. Okay. So, uh, doing cases so i'm i'm learning from uh, other bigger twitch users and stuff so they have like this like the stream is starting soon um either screen or like some video or something or like animation that does like cool pixely stuff for 20 minutes before the show and i'm like okay so if i start at 6 40 and then start like and then i go to me at seven then it's been loading for 20 minutes so this is my screen um, because during one of my episodes, I, no, I think it was the very first, it was the very first DN artistry, which you can find here on like highlighted and preserved on Twitch, but also, um, YouTube. Then, um, I, we started doing this, which is the let's all go to the hot. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. So I want to eventually th these are all my boys that uh that's tipsy and then uh onyx rock and toot toot but then after a couple of weeks then i wrote my own version of the song so here we go let's all roll for our hobby let's all roll for our hobby oh let's all roll for our hobby to get ourselves a crit tipsy's drunk as shit onyx loves to hit ooh rock's magic is handy toot toot's music is dandy so let's all roll for our hobby to get ourselves a crit Let's all roll for our hobby to get ourselves a toot. Wrong button. So, yeah, I spent a couple hours recording that and editing it two weeks ago when I, my mic was still a little bit poppy. So I was like, I, I'm very thankful that everything, all my takes were good. I'm going to tipsy burp. Hold on. A uh, fun little factoid, um, that burp wasn't intentional because I was recording it and then, I'm sorry, um, I was recording it and then I was listening to it afterwards and I was like, no, hold on a second, did I accidentally burp? And then I did and I'm like, oh, well, Tipsy needs to burp in the song. So then I chugged some water real hard and I had like eight to, uh, like six to eight burp takes and then I only used like the second one because... After five, then they all started to sound like something was coming up. So, um, yeah. So let's let's work on this for a little bit because this was pushed aside for three weeks as I um, was uh, outlining and coloring and detailing my boys. So <sighs> thank you for joining me uh, here. Um, the mic seems to be working. So. Thank you, everyone, for telling me so in the chat. Thank you, my my new followers. That's humongous. And thank you for the lively chat and the contributions. And 
I am uh, a, a really thankful cinnamon roll right now. Because I'm Hufflepuff, so. But let's do something fun. I've earned it. Okay, let's all roll for our hobby. Um, here. Yeah, this is what I want to do. Um, Tipsy. Tipsy's outline. Well, what's this stuff then? More notes. Oh, okay. I see. So, these... Is all oh, this is also the winter outfits. What are my boys wearing now? Um, that's a very good question, Victor. Let us throw up. Oh, okay. Image. What is Tipsy wearing now? Because this is these are the winter outfits, and now we have spring outfits. Tipsy. Yep. There he is. <laughs> Here's that uh big forest gnome rogue. Who's only two foot ten? All right. Okay. So now I have to redo Tipsy in order to have the spring outfit. What a great sentence. But how does that apply? Let's do this first. Where. Oh boy, they're all kind of okay. Okay, I've, I I know what to do. I know what to do. So, um, how do I make tipsy or waddles? Oh, that beer. I want to make waddles like furry. Oh wait, hold on. I want to make Waddles' outline furry. There we go. Almost. Bop. Yeah, that's good. Let's also have... Okay. Tipsy, you are very big. Can can you minimize a little bit more? Thanks. So, Tipsy's there. Um, I'm going to do this. And then, one of the other things that happened... Um, please tell me if my mic is good or if it ends up popping or crackling. Because I... I'm I'm suspicious. Like I'm 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 very hopeful. Hope for TTRPGs, but um, I also don't want to. Okay, I can do this. D D D. Okay, all right. <laughs> You're embarrassing me in front of Hope. Stop it. What are you doing? Okay, good. Excellent. Now, save as. Please tell. And then make it a PNG. Just in case more people show up. Um, because 38 minutes in, I want my mic still to be good. So, this little endeavor. And then I can come down here to... Oh, no. It's a way in the way. Everything's good. Everything's good. That's very loud. Uh. Okay, I'm going to <laughs> mute my phone now. Where did it save? Where did it ding dong save? Did it even save? All right, now we're getting back into true. Uh, it still sounds great. Okay, good. Oh yeah, this this is pretty much an average Dean artistry where I do stuff for a while and mutter to him. Oh, cause it's in the wrong folder. Okay. D. Uh, dink, 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 dink. 
Okay, cool. So that is easier. There it is. Cool. Jeez. No, don't look at that. Okay, because one of the other things was that when this computer updated to the new OS, then it no longer could airdrop to the old laptop. So I had to try and figure out um, for a while how to make, how to connect the two, as it were. But then I figured it out. Okay. That's not great to look at. Let's get rid of my link tree and then have this. Cool, because I still don't trust it quite yet. Is that good? Let's make it a little bit bigger. All right. Excellent. Yay. I'm here to do fun art now. Okay, how do we... Because uh, I want to make Tipsy's... I want to make Waddles's... Uh, like, his outline, like, furry and gray. So I'm trying to figure out how to do that right now. Like that. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> um, the, the PBR is kicking in, but I need to redo Tipsy's whole outfit now that it's a spring. Or maybe I'll just save that for later. Because right now, I don't want to deal with that so much. Mm. That's a good idea, Victor. Okay, so I will do... Let's like try a five. It's too big. Let's try like a four. That's pretty cute. Ooh, even better. I have no idea how to art, but I think Squiggles help makes it look very... Yeah, Squiggles indeed. That is uh, what I am doing. Squiggles indeed help. <laughs> yeah. So, Squiggles, Squiggles. And then I want to preserve the... Now, does it look just like he's wearing a shag carpet? I mean, a little bit. Okay. Because then I want to have that black contour line. The out... Outer glow, which I love for all of my projects. Kind of like that, actually. That's pretty good. But then, I, I like the, the outline around it, so all of this stuff. But how do I keep the inner outline? I know how to fix that. But let me co continue making it furry. Uh-huh, and then, excuse me, great, because now I can add a layer on top of that, that is this color, but then I fill it in, yes, look at that, I, I cheated, not cheated, what's a better word for that, I came up with a clever solution, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's that's fun. I like that. So then eventually, uh, Princess Dolly was asking earlier, but I do want to put this up like as a cool T-shirt option. Um, just having all four of them, because that's that's cool. Squiggles indeed help. Squiggles would be a good name for like a pet rat. Um, this pet rat is named Waddles. So, uh, his voice. 
in the show is uh, just like the voice that I used to voice my um, chihuahua back at home. His name was Cookie, and he was just a little best little boy. In fact, um, Dungeons & Dragons, their Twitter, um, a while ago... All right. <laughs> if you've never seen my show, then I my window is right next to like a six-lane highway. Not a highway per se, but it's a very big uh, um, street. So uh, there's big cars, big trucks, loud cars, uh, sirens, um, just a whole plethora of fun noises. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Because I want to keep his ear good. Okay, those are fine. Ah, wrong button. So, uh, almost remember who I was talking to. Oh, uh, yeah, Cookie's voice. So, uh, he was. Oh, so Dungeons and Dragons um, for National Dog Day was like, hey, so tweet us a picture of your dog. And so I tweeted, ooh, I wonder if I can bring it up real quick. No, it'll take me five minutes. But if you look back, Dean Me Adventures tweeted out a picture of Cookie. I'm holding Cookie in my arms, and he like sat there just perfectly while I was DMing um, my family, so my sister and my mom. And then Cookie was like there attentive, and then another second he's melodramatically like flumped over because he he took the best naps and just would fall asleep if he feels comfortable in your arms. So he just <clears throat> and. Um, I told uh, Wizards of the Coast, I was like, hey, so this is Cookie. He's um, a bard slash cleric, and he's just uh, healing kisses. And D&D, &D, the official's D&D, &D, the official D&D &D Twitter was like, well, um, may they rest in peace, but know that they are forever loved or something. I was like, oh, that's the best. So that was really cool. Good job, D&D. &D. You done did good. But... I had here also in my notes that um, I hope that the rat sash is still alive and isn't representative of the food hygiene in your theater. Uh, yes. D d it's, don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> actually, I have a theater. Uh, well, actually, at the end of episode 32 which was called Care to Share, then my half-orc wizard went into the theater that we have called the Seven Masks Theater, which is actually the backdrop. Yeah, that's what this is. Beep, beep. So, Seven Masks Theater, and uh, we have that <laughs> facade, and then inside, with that creepy guy. I forgot about that guy. But, yes, all of... the. It's hygiene for the movie Come. theater. Um, thank you. Hope it is a sweet story. I I was really impressed. Y'all, all the new people here, you've I don't think you've heard my uh theme song. So this is the theme song for D and Me. Enjoy. Come, friend, now lend me an ear for a tale of Victor the Weird. He went on an adventure with he, him, and himself, and also his mighty fine beard. Now gather round, I'll tell you about this mighty beast. He may look as human as me or as you, friend, but soon your eyes will feast upon this marvelous creature with many body parts. His one shirt may fool you, but what if I told you his chest had four red hearts? One mouth but a thousand voices, one mind and limited choices. Two handsome dice, two handsome nice. The audience rejoices, he's going to play the indeed. With him, himself, and he. Those are his pronouns, it's really profound. It's time for D and D. Featuring Victor and Victor and Victor. And Victor and Victor and Victor. And Victor and Victor and Victor and Victor. Just one butt. 
So that is the theme song uh, produced and performed by Bradley Owens. You can find them on Instagram at Bradley Ovens. That's bread, L-E-Y, Ovens. And uh, that's amazing. Yes, my mom has entered the chat. Mom, everyone has said that the mic has been very good so far. No one has said anything about uh, popping or crackling. So literally for the past fortnight, I've been super anxious about it. So I am very, 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 very thankful. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, my laptops. I oh, thank you, thank you, audience. Yay! So that's huge. <sighs> I was really, I was really nervous. If anyone is familiar with what I make, that was exactly my kind of deal. Amazing. Oh yeah, True Jack. Um, you you do music. Um, hot dog. Great news. Yeah. Uh. So, uh, Duddy or something, uh, is my mom and she has been a huge supporter of the show. And, uh, that's amazing. Mom, mom. Hey mom. Uh, there's an individual in the chat right now, uh, who like followed me and started, uh, the, the chat tonight, uh, whose name is hope for TTRPGs. And they're like, they're like a big deal. So I'm just saying for Victor, not music, but identities for sure. What does that mean? True Jack? identities if anyone is familiar with what i make that was exactly my kind of deal identities i am very curious now so i wonder i wonder what that means tell me more tell me more and you know what um as true jack oh you're too kind i i will <laughs> i i'm i'm coming up from like a really like a pit of despair because um, I am very thankful that my mic is working, so I, I'm working through all those emotions. But hope I will reach out to you later um, when I'm more clear-minded and and like ask you a bunch of questions and and really thank you honestly. So hi, hope, yeah, hi, Dean, me mom. <laughs> uh, her name is Dodie. My mom is Dodie, so Dodie or something. That that's part of the thing. Um, I want to try something new because me working on this, it's it's pretty much like a mural. Um, and there's just a lot of pieces and my mind's not in a big, um, fresco right now. Apologies for my confusing statements. It's 1am and I am broken. 1am? It's 752 where I am. Um, what I mean is I do a lot of stuff that is just me talking to myself. Hey, awesome. Well, True Jack, I, you are on my list of, um, people to investigate. Well, none of those words sound good. Um, I am going to look at your content after this. So, um, yay. Are you an, also a, a solo, uh, content creator? And let's see, 7 a.m. So that's nine, 10, 11, 12, five hours ahead. So are you like in the UK? I, that, I think that math works out. One of my new roommates is from England, from Kent. So I'm going to try something completely different. Um, tipsy. Look at you. Look at that boy. He's such a good boy. And then, and also hope if I'm I'm too like uh too giving of words of affirmation, please let me know, and then I will gladly back off. Sometimes I, I get very excited, and um. I, okay. Well, no, this is so. I just want to be respectful. Copy. Okay. So. Lol, the excitement is great, and my PMs are always open. Yay! PMs, because it's almost eight PM our time uh, here in the Eastern Standard Time. All right. Many, many moons ago, many suns ago, um, I, hold on. No, this is what I want to do. Yeah, mom, the mic works, so thank Christ. Okay, almost there, almost there. Okay, 
So, um, many days ago, I made a joke that, um, toot toot, something about the Island of Misfit Toys. And I was like, you know what? Toot toot's an elephant. So that would be perfect. No, here's what we're going to do instead. So, today, I'm going to do just a light little thing of just sketching up this elephant that is from the Island of Misfit Toys. And if someone in the chat can look up the elephant and then tell me what was wrong with the elephant. Because the, Al the Island of Misfit Toys, yeah, the Island of Misfit Toys, like, all of them are made differently. And so no kid wanted them. Is that right? I haven't seen the 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 Rudolph, the claymations in a long time, so. All right. But this was in my notes for a while. So either making you you said they were a bunch of misfits. Oh, OK, cool. At least one of us remembers stuff. That's good. Yeah. So then I, I connected the two and I was like, well, Toot Toot is the elephant. Oh, maybe that's another thing also that I do. Everyone else is <laughs> one of the misfits. But we'll we'll start with Toot Toot. How about that? Um, so that my giant head's not in the way. So we're going to color Toot Toot right now. Yes, I am from the UK, but I don't want to promote myself here because this is a you show and you seem great. Feel free to contact me later, though. Thank you very much, True Jack. That's very thoughtful. So I'm going to underline your name in my notes twice. So, I, but I appreciate that, True Jack. Thank you. Um, let me get tipsy out of the way. Or do I open the toot toot color file so that we can actually color him? Okay, but yeah, someone in the chat figure out why the elephant was a misfit toy. Is it just because polka dots? Because, like, that's not a, that's not a bad thing. I guess elephants, um, stereotypically archetypally, are supposed to be gray or brown. Like, me having a brown elephant, that's... The elephant has abandonment issues due to being abandoned by their owner, oh no! And tip, technically depression... <gasps> I laughed too soon. Oh no. Um, due to their wiki. That's very sad. I'm sorry, elephant. Does elephant have a name? Uh, that's very, very sad. And I should not be smiling. There we go. Oh. Well, we, here, we're giving, um, the attention to the elephant. Uh, yes, I am going to... <laughs> yeah, look at my background. Please work, please work, please work. Uh, for my... <sighs> for my mic to work. And so far, gangbusters, baby. All right. One more time. No. Yeah, does the elephant have a name, or is it just elephant? Uh, maybe. Elephant big. Because we're going to color elephant, and that'll be a nice little fun thing. Looks like it's just called Misfit Elephant. I like it. And then, what are the other ones? There's a doll, and then, like, a choo-choo train with, um, bop. Uh, with square wheels. Misfit. Let's save them on my desktop. All right. It doesn't look like he has really anything color-wise. This is the color I just got from. It's a, <laughs> uh, and a doll with no nose. Well, I mean, when you draw a doll, most of the time they don't have noses. Interesting 
fact, my grandma, um, like two decades ago, gave me an IQ test and she showed me a poorly drawn picture and she's like, okay, this is a boat riding through the water. Part of the IQ test is saying, what is wrong with this picture? Like what is not in this drawn picture that would make sense for this picture? And me being artistic and then ending ending up with an art minor and then, you know, doing a whole uh, Dean artistry art stream. Then I looked at it and I was given three guesses and I was like, um, the, like if the boat is riding it, like full blast, then the, the flag should be waving. So it's like a straight flag. And she was like, uh, no, that's not it. And I was like, okay. So I gave like two other guesses and she's like, those are also very, very good, but there's no ripples in the water. And I was like, what? That's dumb. That's some boom. So I was like, all right, grandma, whatever. This IQ test is dumb. And then years later, she's like, Victor, I thought about it a lot. And what you said made a lot of sense. So I'm sorry that I took points off. <laughs> um, but you were actually right. And I was like, dang straight. Because I'm an art guy. So that's me bragging that I'm smarter than <laughs> an IQ test, which that's not. But the the elephant's not wearing anything. Is that a bow? No, it's just a stark white. Um, okay. So technically, you know what? No, let's do this. Oh boy. Um, so it looks like. It has black eyes. Oh boy, I'm sorry, y'all. The the PBR is kicking at me. So it has black eyes. That's very creepy. Let's add some white in there so that we have something. Uh, Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's very good. Look at that. So then the nose for the elephant is like this color. Is that all of like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, um, oh, I see. Drawing on the wrong layer. Drew Jack, do you, do, you, do you stay up until one, or was this a special thing? Because I'm still very curious about your your individual identities, Dealey. Um, but I also want to respect you like going to sleep and stuff. So if you want to talk about yourself, like, uh, as seen by my passion uh, for for Hope's work, um, Mike sounds good, bro. Thank you, Cthulhu Hop. Oh, yay, because I was really nervous about it, y'all. <laughs> like, it's... He, so, for episode 31, which was called Buzzed, it was the episode right before St. Patrick's Day. So I had a leprechaun meet with Tipsy. So, Buzzed the leprechaun and um, Tipsy the forest gnome rogue were having, like, mini games and sessions and stuff. And it was really cool. But uh, right when I was getting into like the thick of buzzed, then the mic, what st 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 yeah, st and I was like, no, cause I was watching it back. Um, and it was really disruptive and me editing that for the podcast is going to be a pain in the tuckus. But, um, that is many months away because uh, I edit an episode a month, pretty much. Unless I have a... Well, until I have a staff of my own. Then they can do the thankless work that is editing a podcast. But I actually had two volunteers help with uh, editing podcasts, so that's humongous. So I'm very appreciative of that. True Jack, I can only sleep if I fall asleep because of anxiety, so I often have 30-hour days. <laughs> Well, thank you for spending some of that time with me. Um, I'm sorry about anxiety. 
as you heard me uh, kvetching for the past hour, uh, I also uh, have some anxiety stuff. So, but this has been just delightful. So thank you again, everyone, for for tuning in and telling me if my mic is good. And not a single person in an hour has told me that it popped. So I am so thankful for that because that means episode 33, which I need to start planning for that, um, that that episode will sound the best it's had, it's been sounding for a while. Um, 30 hour Jiminy Christmas. Don't go yet. Uh, watching streams help. Don't go yet. Don't go, go, don't what yet? Don't go. Oh, to sleep yet? Uh, no, <laughs> if, if True Jack is tired, I want True Jack to sleep. But if True Jack also wants to watch, then True Jack is also um, capable of making their own decisions. And I uh, respect them either way. Okay, now that I've given a thick enough outline this is fun because this is a completely different like skin i was thinking about it um thought you were about to log off for the night me nah i i i got i got like i am encouraged and empowered so i'm i'm kicking on baby um i thought about it and it's in some of my notes but when it was Episode four, Shops and Snowy Streets. Yeah, episode four, Shops and Snowy Streets, where my boys, they were summoned into a wintry water deep. Um, and they were all wearing like suitable clothes for the summer. And the places that they were in their campaigns before something happened and they all were summoned into D and me adventures. But they didn't have any winter clothes, and it was like full on snow outside. So I had a shopping episode, and they went to the convex, the crimson convex, which is my version of Redbubble. And they were tended to by three kobolds whose name were tax, shipping, and handling. Uh, and it was a very heavy handed, um, tip of the hat towards my Redbubble store, which only has very minimal things, but I started this Dean artistry uh, stream so that we can get more stuff in the, um, uh, in the store. Um, tax shipping and handling. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and, uh, they all got new winter clothes. So they got like, Oh, do I have the winter clothes up here? No, that'll take a while to figure out. But, you can see from my banner in those episodes, like maybe 20 episodes, 20. Yeah. From episode four onward, then I had winter hero forges and they're like the different skins from Neopets. If you remember Neopets, if you were a kid growing up in the early aughts, then the Neopets had different skins. So like Halloween skins and like, St. Patrick's Day green and shamrock inspired skins. So that was all really fun. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, no, this is like the, the Island of Misfit Toys uh, skin. Oh, I could do his nails that color, that gray. That's funny. True Jack says he got to dot up his fant. Yeah, exactly. So True Jack's got to stay around for that. Do I also, oh, his tusks. I didn't even think about that. Ooh, I could just edit those out and that might be fine. But this, this elephant is not wearing anything. Um, but my, my Loxdon boy is definitely wearing something. So how do I go about doing that? Hmm. Anyways, also, your new intro video on YouTube was awesome. Always impressed how you were able to swap characters so smoothly. Well, thank you very much. That is one of the the huge, uh, the, just the best parts of d and Me is when I have conversations with myself and my characters keep swapping back and forth. Um, tax shipping handling. 
Uh, thank you, Cthulhu Hop. And I love Neopets. I could see that, Hope. I could see that. Yeah, Neopets was awesome. They had, like, this great... I remember in elementary school or middle school, like, they had this really good logic puzzle. And I love logic puzzles. And so one of my classmates would, like, bring in the next hint for the logic puzzle. And I'm pretty sure I was the only person who cared. But I was invested in that logic puzzle. So how do I deal with the tusks? Also, he's... So black eyes and then that weird colored nose. Um, I remember the mini games on Neopets. Yeah, and then there was like this giant omelet. Oh my gosh! So my sister loved Neopets, and I, I remember the giant omelet that was just in the middle of a field, and you could take little pieces from it. Uh, right? Neopets was so cool. Wish I could remember my password. Is that still a thing? So one of my funnies that I have written down in one of my many, many, many notes, yes, is that Neopets is like Tamagotchis, where I haven't fed my Neopets in like two decades. So I feel very bad for them <laughs> if they're still alive. Um, but no, I'm sure they're just in suspended animation. I wonder if Neopets is still a thing, because like Homestar Runner was Flash, and I think they've upgraded recently. But I wonder what Neopets is up to. And remember Tamagotchis even earlier? Boy, I remember Tamagotchis. Oh, okay. So here's the thing. Uh, and now we're full on in DN artistry where I'm not, I'm arting a little bit, but um, I, no, get the thought back, Victor, get the thought back, Tamagotchi. Oh no. Oh yeah. So when people are like, oh my gosh, I was born in the wrong decade. Or if you can go back in time, what would you do? I think either sixties because like I look like a hippie with this full on beard. But if I could be 30 back in the nineties, if I could be 20 back in the nineties, instead of zero through nine years old in the nineties, I would have been king. I would have like, all I think of is the jazz design and uh, wild berry pop tarts. That's, <laughs> that's what the nineties were to me, uh, aesthetically speaking. But man, I would have ruled the 90s. Like, put 20 bucks in Apple stock at the beginning of 90s, and then I would have, like, Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network and Disney Channel. After you're long, your Neopets get put up for adoption. Oh, okay. Yeah, after so long, your Neopets get put up for adoption. Good. They they go to a better home. I like that. Uh, Now I'm nostalgic. I know, right? Uh, throw up whatever, whatever fun 90s stuff anyone has, and then we'll reminisce. Because, golly, the 90s were awesome. Uh, the, th the aughts were not as great, and then the 2010s were like, uh, and now the 2020s. <laughs> but, to give everything credit, um, without 2020 then I wouldn't have this show. And this show has been my everything for the past six months. So, no, eight months. <sighs> and look, I'm coloring, I'm coloring this thing. I'm coloring my elephant character as an elephant from a thing. Uh, the nightmare inducing Furbies that would talk in the middle of the night. So, Furbies. Yeah, like, if you put, if you try and turn them off, then they will turn back on. I don't, Furbies are terrifying. Was it, dude, McDonald's, McDonald's toys. Can we just talk, can we just talk about McDonald's toys for the next hour? McDonald's toys were so good in my, my childhood. Oh my goodness. Yes. I loved my Furby. They gave out mini Furbies, right? For McDonald's toys. Now they have like the cheap plastic where it's like two parts put together. But McDonald's had the best toys. Oh my gosh. Yes, Beanie Babies, <laughs> my mom, uh, amazing woman. And my dad, um, they would go through the drive-thru and go, hey, so <laughs> we're, we're looking for the one last Beanie Baby. Do you happen to have it? And it's like the blue brontosaurus. Um, but my mom, the, the, 
patient angel. Um, her and my dad, who's a literal angel. Um, there, I was a a picky eater for a part of my childhood. So they would go to McDonald's and go. So we want a cheeseburger, but just cheese and bread. Okay, no meat, no ketchup, but just just cheese and bread. And so literal angels. So thank you, mom. Um, but the toys. Oh, my gosh. That's that's what started my love of toys. I would imagine that's why I have about 50 miniatures on my desk right now. That's why my room. Well, my room here in Atlanta and then my room in North Carolina. Here's something great. Uh, my room here and my room in North Carolina have so many toys. But the other night. Oh, it's very stressed out. So I decided to take a walk from 5 p.m. until like, oh, maybe 9, 15, um, because I just got a new phone. And so I re-downloaded Pokemon Go and I am re-addicted to it. But. <clears throat> bro, Bobbits. Oh, Bobbits are pretty good. But. As I was walking back from my reintroduction to Pokemon Go, then I was feeling sad and then I was stressing about this mic, which is being so good right now. Thank you very much. And I, I, I was rising above it all and I was like, okay, so Victor, you're very stressed out about being in your 30s in 2022 and these 57 different bad things. Here's an experiment. When you get home, before you go to bed, write a letter to your younger self. So, like, kid Victor versus 30s Victor. What do you want to tell your younger self? Because every once in a while, I I see the bigger picture, and I'm like, am I still a person that kid Victor would think is cool or that I am following the right path or am I doing stuff that would disappoint my kid version? So I, I started talking, I, I started drafting this letter in my head talking to kid Victor and like that we are following our dream of being a performer, like an entertainer. Uh, I did community theater in, um, like I did theater in North Carolina for 10 years. So I acted and now I'm here in Atlanta and for the past six, seven years, I've been acting in front of camera and being paid very good money. And I've been paying my rent for, um, four years. Um, yeah, I've been an actor, a full-time actor for four years. Um, so that's huge. And then like all the cool stuff we've done. And like if 30 year old Victor met, elementary school victor how would he react and like i think i would have thought i was awesome like oh my gosh we have a beard now yeah we have a beard and let me tell you about all these cool stuff like you can buy candy whenever you want but one of the things was hey kid victor so remember when we were growing up and like we didn't really have a style so we tried things that were kind of weird or just like we were really focused on being unique and like that was kind of what we gravitated towards but there wasn't a real like flavor composition it was just like uh kid victor had a nightstand as a file cabinet isn't that kooky and then like i collected hubcaps off of the side of the road and then hung them up on my wall because that's kind of sort of cool like ah, I, was, I was experimenting with so so many things i was telling one of my friends actually i think it was yesterday um like i discovered my style because like i i would get presents that were like hey victor here's a rubber chicken because you liked rubber chickens five years ago right and i started collecting but it was like yoda and i was i was not really invested so i like moved on to other stuff but one of my main points that I want to say to Kid Victor is that we have found our style and we are living our fullest life of just like in my room. My my rooms are a um, I spy book, but like an I spy encyclopedia where you look at my shelves and you can see 300 different versions of uh, BB-8 and uh wally and hank the octopus from finding dory and 
C-3PO and Groot and Rocket Raccoon. Like if you look at um, my background for episode eight, which is stone halls and close calls, then that is like my background in my North Carolina home. And you can see all my collections and all my shelves because I have multiple tiers of shelves. I have like this tiny little um, dresser, but then on top of that is like a whole bunch of stuff. And then I spend like five minutes going, okay, so this is this shelf and this is my Dungeons and Dragons shelf and this is miscellaneous. And then this is like, I have a whole Hellboy shelf that you don't see and then a whole bookshelf of plays because I did 10 years of theater in North Carolina. And then from that, like I have a travel shelf. So like I collect uh, Australia stuff. So Australia uh, shot glasses. But if you look at the intro to episode eight, which is stone halls and close calls on YouTube or Twitch, then this background, um, I keep my boys banner. Like they're not in the banner for that episode because it's just my background. So that was humongous. So I definitely found my style like gargoyles. Yeah, a third of my desk in North Carolina is covered in gargoyles. And it's amazing. I love it so much. Whenever I find one, I'm like, oh, it, like in a thrift store or something, then I'm, oh, this is perfect. I'm buying it immediately. Um, I talk about later on, I was like, man, this is half of my room in North Carolina. The other half I'll show eventually. And I, I should. Let me just make it real quick. So other and see half of room excuse me the other half of my room is like my so in my whole room first of all my mom helped me install pegboard which you can find in garages but like we made a whole pegboard so that i could hang stuff off of my wall all my cool stuff so that was the early rendition but of, of the border on my room is all big mouth billy basses so i have maybe 30 just in a row and it makes me so happy <laughs> and that's really what matters i have like a hellboy collection i have empty dvd cases which this is really cool mom i don't know if you even know this my dvd collection um i have my DVD collection, which is in a traveling case of 256 little pouches for DVDs. But above my desk in my North Carolina room, I have empty DVD cases where I could put like a new DVD or whatever. But there's like my magic number tonight is 30, apparently. But there's 30 DVD cases and I'm slowly taking some out because I'm replacing them with DVDs of movies that I am in that I was paid to be in. I have like three or four now. For example, here on my desk here in Atlanta, I have this. So this is the Blu-ray and DVD and digital collection of Zombieland Double Tap, which is the biggest movie I have ever been in. And I have a significant role in it. So I have this. like. I have room for my DVDs that I will be in. And I am in the extended bloopers and alternate scenes and stuff. And I'm in the, the director. Hey, gouging gadgets. What's your role? So I am. Um, I am Civil War bearded guy. Um, who. Ends up talking about group sex a lot. <laughs> Oh, which is amazing. You're in that? That's so cool. Yeah. So Zombieland Double Tap. Um, I have, as part of my, like, intermission for the episodes, I have my reels. So theatrical reel and commercial reel and mocap reel and voiceover reel. And uh, let's see if I can actually... Oh, y'all are in for a treat. Here you go. Okay. Great. Just so you guys know, there's no group sex. Okay, fine. Group sex. Oh, whoa. No. Question! Did you melt all the weapons? Yeah. That's how we made these cool little peace thingies. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, Civil War general, you must know how to fight? Sure. Poverty, sexism, social injustice. Now, from where I stand, there's only one thing we can do. Group sex. Right? Mm -hmm. No. Um, we'll fight then. You'll be the first to die, but I like your enthusiasm. You might die. Thank you for your sacrifice. 
Um, I am looking for, um... Brian. He's not here today. Sorry, we can't give that out. It, you could leave him a note. I think he works again next week. Now what? And then I was also on Good Girls on NBC and on Netflix. So if you look that up, I'm in episode five, season one. I think it's episode five. I'm pretty sure it's episode five. Yeah. So that's real cool. I like bragging about that every once in a while. Um, I don't know, bro. Your HBO role was pretty big, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I have a whole HBO story. I I got four residual I got four residual checks from my HBO stuff the other day. They totaled the amount of 31 cents, 26 cents, 16 cents and 15 cents, but that's after months after my HBO stuff. But dude, these are hilarious. Thank you so much. That is amazing. I really really appreciate it, everyone. Thank you so much. Um I I really really appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, that is my my acting career and that is paired up with um my D and me career. Um 32 episodes. The first 9 are in podcast form. I'm going to start editing episode 10 here soon. Um I had help with episode 9, 10 and 11 editing it down for the podcast because it's a lot of podcasts to edit down. So I have um, my dad and then uh, one of my um, childhood friends helping me do an um, um run where they take out all my ums. And that's half of the show right there. So I am very appreciative of that. All right. All right, enough nonsense. Actually, I might get another beer. So that will be another, yeah. I'm going to get another beer. You know what? Also, this, please tell me if my mic is good or if it ends up popping and crackling. In an hour and 26 minutes, no one has said anything. So, yeah, that is a great feeling that I figured it out. I didn't have to drop two grand on a new laptop. So proud of you, bro. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you, Cthulhu Hop. You're, y'all are the best. So I'm going to show... Um, Poppy has 40 minutes finished. There we go. Um, so that's huge. I've got to check in on a few other streams. Have a good night. Thank you so much, Hope. I really, really, really appreciate it. This, this was a huge gift. So thank you very much. And you have a great night as well. Um, yeah, I'm going to go grab another beer. So Poppy has 40 minutes finished and I'll talk about that when I get back. So enjoy. Um, part of my, uh, acting career is that I'm in 20 plus commercials. So you're going to watch 20 no, that's a lot. No, you're going to watch two minutes of my commercial reel, right? Now. Hello. I'm the sandwich affectionado. I used to rap in college. I rapped about bread. They called me two slice. And some other things. A bacchanalia beef lust. The sweet sarcasm of maple bacon. The cobble stone a kaiser roll dusted in corn, not mutton bone, as was the custom in the 16th century. Victor, would you like to get us started? Absolutely. Nos altem fratres transfigurabe in RSA at AES at Secure Anti Informant. You guys are brilliant and I love what you bring to the table. Times change. Now you can set a budget and receive alerts about your progress. Times change. Now you can go online to schedule an appointment. <laughs> Sweet time. Oh, it's eight o'clock. Wait, for real? Cut. Sorry. From the Atlanta Braves. Oh, it's a baseball player. How can one baseball player do this to us? Why aren't you wearing any shoes? We have to get the punk who did it to us. Whoa. So I got my buddy here. Yeah, there he is. All right, we got one, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Stop. Oh, oh, oh. Stop. My cash pop number today is six. Like, haha funny? You mean all pixelated, blurry, and cropped weird? Just email everybody and send them a new file. Um, I'm gonna do a blacksmith workshop. This is now a hostile work environment. I'm gonna call HR. Hello, HR? Yeah, it's Rachel again. I voted for my producer because I like hot breakfasts and a crafty with fruit snacks. Degaf chocolate milk. 
we're going to go inside and challenge some folks to play a new game called Flanks. If they win, I have to give them $20. But if they lose, I'm going to drink their beer. So, that's my commercial reel. Um, thank you again, Hope. I, I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around for the commercials. You saw a commercial full of commercials. I love the Sonic one. They were all... I I enjoy my little typecast and everything. So, that's huge. <sighs> what am I doing? I am using the wrong mouse, first of all. But... Yay! Thanks for for joining me here at uh, Dean Artistry, a rare Monday version because I am testing out this mic and it is just going so well. So thank you very much, and I have a bunch of new wa uh, watchers, viewers, and people in the chat. So uh, thank you for joining me tonight, and I am making Toot Toot as the elephant from the Island of Misfit Toys in the Rudolph... What's the actual name of the thing? Is that... Okay, so there's like Don Bluth, which is not Disney, but now I think it is. And Don Bluth did hand-drawn animation, so like Anastasia. And we're back. And the penguin and the pebble, or stuff. And then there's Claymation, which is the walls and grommet stuff which i don't remember that production company is there like an overarching thing of the rudolph there's rudolph and then young santa and then heat meisner meisner and heater and then frosty the snowman like is there can someone look this up for me because i'm i'm drawing right now but can someone look up if that's like a production company or if it's stop motion, I believe, yeah. But was it like the same studio who did it? Because it looks all very similar. Rankin and Bass, I believe, says Dodie or something. And she knows a lot of shit, so. Interesting. Rankin and Bass. Rankin? Cool. That sounds most definitive. Okay. Boom. I think we got the cheek right. Yes, it was them, though they have a lot of imitators. Rankin and Bass. Yeah. Nice. Rankin and Bass. So then, now we're going to finally... I need to figure out what to do with his whole outfit. I'll do all of that after I do the polka dots, because that's that's what True Jack is waiting for. So I want to make sure... Oh, should I do... No, that's uh, way too much. I pulled that from my thinky thing and not Google. <laughs> no, I, I, I believe you with the I believe at the end and then the M instead of an N for and. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, but so, yeah, ooh, that's a good one, one right like underneath. That's pretty good. And then one on the other side. And then, well, he's facing like three quarters. And then one right here on like his clavicle. Oh, that's too big. Good. But then also, like he has one right here. And then one like right here. And then some on his tummy and stuff. On the side. Uh, 
uh, none of my boys have legs right now because legs are pretty hard to draw and those are very overwhelming. So none of them have legs. And then ding, ding. Um, uh, doll with no nose is blocking some of this. So I'll just say one right here. Yeah, let's fill in some of the spaces. He doesn't have any on his ears? <clears throat> Fant, fa Fant pox. And then, yeah, poke those dots. Does he have any on his ears? How do I look that up? I don't know. Maybe some of my new viewers um, can tell me. Like, I'm afraid to show Google here um, because of, like, copyright infringement or whatever. So, elephant misfit toys. Let's see if he has any on his ears. Oh, here's a good angle on him. Oh, those are blue? What? It all depends on the picture you find, people. Because now we have more information. His nails are blue. And he does have... Nope. One too many. So, like... One right there, and let's just do a couple more. Just because I'm not paying for these polka dots, so I'm going to have as many as I want. Yeah. But look at this blue. That's different from that gray. Oh, it's different from his nose, too. That's right. Next time we go to Battle and Brew, we should brainstorm some D&D stuff while we eat. Uh, yes, I'd love that. D&D &D drinks, I'm a huge fan of. I came up with Waterdeep Chariot Bomb the other day, and then um, Bug Beer instead of Bug Bear. Yeah, so Cole, write that down. Like, what do you want to brainstorm? Blah. What do you want to brainstorm? Okay, that's good. And so now I'm going to do his nails. Y'all, wasn't Hope so great? And and so was Mechanical Frog and True Jack. Thank you all so much for joining me and supporting me on my nervous endeavor. Because, like, I know <laughs> my plea on Twitter was uh, very self-conscious, but... Y'all came out in droves, so thank you very much. Look at his nails. Look at his nails. This is so weird and so great. Yeah, I'm paying for... I'm paying for these nails, so I'm going to make them all blue. Yeah, that's good. It's so subtle. Um. Yeah, let me. Were we done talking about um '90s stuff? Because that was fun. I'm gonna make his clothes just a darker color. Of this never saw that movie growing up. Oh, okay. Um, two different things. So, never saw that movie growing up because the UK has its own Christmas stuff, but the airplane toy is the creepiest to me. Oh, what's the airplane toy? I, I need to look that up real quick. Let's look up the airplane toy. Uh, what's some of the UK Christmas stuff? Excuse me. Airplane. By the way, you described it. Oh, well, that's cute. That's a cute little thing. I I will veto that it's creepy. I, I was expecting, like, Toy Story creepy. Because, yeah, Toy Story creepy is definitely creepy. Like, the first one. But look at that. That's a cute little thing. No. Oh, sorry. True Jack, wait a second. That's not what I wanted. Why, why is it doing that? that? No. Yeah, I specifically minimized it. 
screen share, you goof. But look at that cute little airplane. But True Jack doesn't like it, so I will respectfully uh, take care of it. But <sighs> writing it down. Okay, so Cole says some NPCs, gameplay mechanics, stuff like that. Also, have you thought about um, doing your drunk reviews, but in D and me characters, that would be hilarious. Whoa. Uh, whoa, that's cool. So what Cole is mentioning, um, <laughs> Drew Jack is getting all traumatized all over again. I'm sorry, Drew Jack. I just wanted to show the elf, uh, the airplane for reference, but I took it down. What Cole is referencing is that um, years ago, like in 2018, um, I did drunk reviews of bad movies. So like I would drink and then I would do live tweets and some of them like I did. I did um, uh, Jim Henson's Labyrinth. I did uh, Spaceballs. I did Sweeney Todd. Um, I, there were some really wretched ones. I did half of King Kong. Because then I got too drunk. I I drank and watched Sideways. I uh, drank wine. So that would be fun. Like I could totally drink as tipsy. I, I was planning actually a little bit. One of the uh, um, drafts of tonight was uh, me drinking as tipsy. And then me talking about how anxious I've been this past two weeks. But. Uh, like. Um doing the drunk reviews as characters that's fun i have been thinking about doing dn um dn commentary so i would watch like all the eight harry potter movies or all the lord of the rings extended editions and do and record riff tracks so you can hear like my boys ask about what the different things are so i've been playing around with that but i just have not had like three quiet hours strung together. However, my roommates are going to be out of town this weekend. So, mm, that's good to know that it's a, a thing that people are interested in. So, we have The Snowman and Father Christmas by Raymond Briggs. I, I don't know that. And then um, the thing has a <laughs> the thing has a face on its chest that would scrape along the ground. Yeah, I did think about that. How the face is not like on the the front of the airplane, where it would need the face. Like it's instead like a flounder or like a a bottom uh, grazer, a bottom eater, bottom feeder. There it is. Um. <laughs> They were, uh, Cole says they were incredible. Favorite was the space ball ones. You can always come to my place. You'll have good internet and quiet. <gasps> Cole. I might spend like many days at your place. <gasps> Cole's place. I'm going to put four exclamation points in that. Ooh. Ooh, you might have just broke this thing open. But, ooh, Cole. All right. Last little bit. I am going to color. Okay, so is this pure white? This. It, it is. Nice. And I have alcohol. Well, why am I not over there right now? Tipsy is kicking my chair because he wants me to go over Victor, j j just go. It, he has alcohol. Yeah, but like we're a little tipsy right now. I'm a little tipsy. I'm literally two foot ten. Come on. Come on now. Keep up. But no, no, tipsy, not. But ooh, ooh, girl. Kick this thing wide open. What do I do with the tusks? I have an early call time tomorrow. Night, bro. Night, everyone in the chat. Thank you, Cole. I I appreciate you. I appreciate you as always. So he's he's a great guy. Now it's just you and me, True Jack, and maybe Mom if she's watching. But 
Night. Oh, wait. Are you saying night to Cole, Mom? Or are you saying night? No, I think you're saying night to Cole. So. Uh, uh, is that dark enough difference? Um, let's take this out and see. Okay. I see. I see where things are. <laughs> Too cold. Yeah. All right. After I finish this, then, yeah, I'm heading to bed, too, because it was a... I don't think that's different enough. Well, let's let's see me color everything else in. And then I can judge. Oh, that's not bad. Look at that. Or should I do variations on the color of the nails to make them pop? Yeah, let's do that. I'm I'm glad I did this instead of the the pre-show because um the pre-show placard is again a lot. So you have, what was it again? Rudolph and, no, Snowman and Father Christmas? S the Snowman and Father Christmas. So, um, True Jack, I, uh, recently, I was, I was doing an audition. I got an audition for a troll for this little cute little web series. And I just summoned this voice out of nowhere. Like, just the back of my head, I went... And so I, I talked like the troll like this. Hey, so um, I'm going to do some real diabolical stuff, all right? All right, okay. And I was like, what is that voice? It's very good. And so then I've kind of adopted it over the past, like, two years. Um, And it's kind of, uh, and I was like, okay, when I'm doing the voice, then it's very much like, uh, the boys, something the boys. And I was like, why am I saying the boys for birds? What? It's a very specific thing. And then I figured out that our version of the snowman is the Raymond and Briggs, whatever it was. I'm not going to scroll back up anymore, but it's that version. And the person who sings it is uh, Jimmy Durante, who uh, his voice is very much like this about New York. Hey, 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 what, uh, what's the matter with you? So I've, I've adopted that as a couple voices in uh, D and me. Um, for example, um, a real, like, uh, subtle version of that is, um, Ogslob, who is this deep gnome who's obsessed with the color purple and, um, with Rock the Half-Orc Wizard. And then the other ones is, like, very New York. Um, it's, uh, Vinny and Vicky, the Vulture Ericocra. So, uh, they're, they're, they're Vulture people, they're boids, and then, uh, they, they deal with hides and it's very, very funny. Um, I love them a lot. But that is um, <laughs> the thing that I have been doing. Okay, but, okay. Too many thoughts. It's a great voice. I use terrible NY accents for all my rat folk and half my goblins. That's very funny. Um, we have in D&D &D, um, some were rats. Um, Cleo, the daughter, and then, um, Algernon, the father, and, uh, Remy, the brother, and they are more, um, Middle Eastern, Arabic, kind of Russian, like, they're all swirled together, where they talk like this, and they are creatures of unfortunate circumstances and I I quite enjoy it 
<laughs> for rat folk, though. Oh, yeah. I'm walking here. Oh, so, True Jack, do you do, like, we're not going to talk about your stuff, wink, but do you, uh, do you do uh, tabletop role-playing stuff? Do you do d and Do you dabble in d and or, or others? Like, everyone, where everyone else is gone is just you and me. And my mom! <laughs> oh, mom, you're so great in watching all this stuff, so thank you. Oh, I see. I'm so thankful that this mic works. Jeez. What a heartache. But it works, and now for tomorrow's DNR artistry, if I decide to do that, or if I'm just wiped out. He smile. Boys. Shoot. I think I did that wrong. Well, not wrong, but I know a better order. Here we go. Okay, good. Oh, no, that's good. But that was not good. Why do boys suddenly appear? Every time you are near, <laughs> only just begun. I do a lot of D&D &D as a DM and a player, and just between me and you and your mom, <laughs> I have an actual play podcast. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Um... Was was that like a real subtle uh, plug, as in you don't want to take over this spot? Because please feel free to. I, I want to uh, encourage the community and, and stuff, and I want to lift us all up. Rising tides lift all ships. Um, or are you kind of like embarrassed by it and you don't want to share it that much? If that's, if that's the case, then we won't tout about it too much. But if you want to talk about it, I would love to hear an actual play podcast. Yeah, so um, my D and Me podcast uh, again. That's nine episodes in. I'm gonna start episode ten here soon. Um, but it's it's a pretty good show, and it's a pretty fun endeavor. That that was British. If you, no, I'm kidding. Great, great. Look at him. Oh, so dashing. Yep. That was a definitely good call. Matching the nails to the whole ensemble. Oh my gosh, Becky. Look at her butt. Wait, hold on. Let me do this. Yes. Affinite. <gasps> oh, I need to do his um, pan flute. But look at that, folks. Isn't that great? Oh, that's very good. Yep. That's pretty magnificent. Now, how do I live without you? How do I live? Oh, you're like that. Hang on. So. Yes. The gray was a good choice. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, this is totally like Neopet skin. And then I will say that I would do like a dark that. The gray looks great. I can see why elephants choose it. Yeah. But I wanted to make Tutut stand out, so he himself um, is a brown elephant. But 
And it's like, it's really a lot of blue. So that's fun. Wonderful. And we're almost done, folks. Did I go to bed? Mercifully go to bed. Yes. Oh my gosh. Hey, sweetie, I'm going to head out. Good night to you and True Jack. Thank you, Mom. I, I really appreciate you being here. Oh, the microphone works. Thank goodness. I was really stressed out about that so much. So thank you, Mommy. I will see you uh, maybe tomorrow night, but if not, then I will see you um, uh, Wednesday. Yeah, True Jack, she's great. And my dad watches the show too, like a whole bunch, and my sister. Uh, it might have been a little bit too much for her because she for, over spring break she went to California, and I feel that I just have a lot of content, so she might have fallen behind. But she... Watch it a whole bunch, and that was humongous. Um, bop, bop, bop. And I think with this last dot, look at that. Yep, that's great. Cool beans. Yeah, that's very good. Awesome. So how do I... I want to scoot it down so that it'll be closest to me because uh that's done great so now i pose for the title card because we're about done do i like my hand there there we go looks ella fantastic yeah true jack oh true jack you're you're the best. Thank you. Sincerely, thank you for, for being here. Oh, shoot. Okay. 170. Writing down the time code so I can easily go back tomorrow to look at the pod so I can do the title cards and stuff. But thank you so much, True Jack, for, for staying tuned. Stay tuned. For tuning in. There it is. Um, I was really anxious about tonight and it came out fabulous. So I just try to be the person I want to see if I ever start streaming. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's huge. Be what you want to see in the world. So you're, you're doing it in spades, my friend, my new friend. How do I deal without you? How do I know? <laughs> so with that a cool two hours um let's save this separately <gasps> can i throw this on rob bebble <laughs> let's see though Ooh, let's actually right before i do i want to just see if anything stands out Damn, toot toot. He's ripped. All right. That, it's a PNG, so that'll go on good on stickers and stuff. Yes. That's amazing. How, like, that's sincerely so cool. I really like the outlines and then coloring it in afterwards. Uh, Mike sounded great the whole time. I'll try to catch more streams when I can. Thank you very much. That humongous weight off my shoulders, like 60 pounds off of my shoulders. So thank you for tuning in tonight, True Jack, and, and uh, Mechanical Frog, and Hope, and my mom, and Cole, and Princess Dolly, and oop, I saved the wrong thing at the thing, but I'll figure that out. Thank you so much. Um, I will tune in tomorrow. Well, maybe tomorrow. I might take the day off because it was a lot of stress this past week. But um, tune in uh, the this Wednesday for episode 33 of D&Me. And good night.